everybody this is your girl Bella and we are doing another tag so let's put the timer on the clock and I'm gonna try to keep it to a minimum although I don't know I'm not sure how about we do 13 and a half minutes for this tag I would say so starting right now Okay, this is the YouTube interview tag. I watched the video by Rachel Whitehurst and I met her at IMATS and it was, I was just excited, elated, and I watched her video. It was published December 14th. I watched it sometime after that, but I never got around to doing it, if that makes sense. So here we go. There are 20 questions. Question number one, how did it feel to make your first video? I think it was weird at first. Um, I did a few videos, but the one that basically got published, number one, was the one with the Mickey Mouse ears on it, and I was on my laptop. And it didn't matter if my lighting was correct, I had a lamp, I mean, I was at a wrong angle, I looked like a wildebeest. <laughs> Two, did you show anyone your first video before you uploaded it? No. <laughs> I just didn't. Do your friends and family know about your channel? Um, friends are few and chosen, so yes, my friends, all my friends know about my my channel. Um, and my co-workers, family, I don't even really know if I told my brother. Um, I really don't have family. My birth mother knows, but it's not something that she understands. She's old school Puerto Rican and she's in her 60s and she ain't trying to hear that right now. Her brain is somewhere else. Sorry to say that. No disrespect, mom, okay? Are any of your friends and family subscribed to your channel? A lot of my friends are, yes. Um, I'm not, let's, let's get this straight. Not all of my friends are subscribed to my channel. They know of my channel, no boo. Most of them are, with the exception of one or two. Yeah, with the exception of one or two, um, but they're all subscribed to my channel. Did anyone think you were crazy for being a YouTuber? No, I didn't have that. But then again, I didn't announce it to the whole world. That was not something I announced, and even trying to tell people on the job was very much a challenge. And I try to keep that to myself, you know, because there's a lot of haters. What, okay, how and why did you choose your YouTube channel name? At first, when I created my Gmail account, I didn't know how to, what name to use, so I had Sweet J35, no T. So then when I started my channel, I was like, okay, what do I go by? So in order to find me on YouTube, you have to put in Sweet J35, and then Bella J shows up. That's the name of my channel. Um, this is something you should think about before you start your channel. Having a name, everything should be consistent. <laughs> um, what have you gained? Okay. What have you gained from being a YouTuber? Oh my gosh, what have I gained? I have gained a lot. Makeup. This I have gained. I have gained more more outspokenness i have it is so funny i smile more i interact with people a lot more than what i normally do um i am more informed with a lot of things i'm always seeking and searching something because my channel is not about beauty my channel mainly is a comedic commentator kind of like girl code and tmz i would love to be on girl code and tmz um on those lines because i have such a potty mouth and i'm just into everything and i feel that knowledge is power and we should all know everything especially as ladies um are you interested in doing giveaways yes and i have done giveaways i thought it was so much fun and i still owe one of my subscribe one of my giveaway winners a uh, number one the first place winner i owe her a little something more because she was the only one that actually followed instructions <laughs> um do you allow subscribers to send you gifts? I've noticed that several people allow this and boy do they get a, they they get sent a lot. I would love to receive gifts. However, no one has my address. I have to get a PO box and I don't want to give everyone my home address. So once I get a PO box, I will post it and sure enough, please, please send me a card. Send me a little thank you. I don't know, send me something. I would love to receive mail. It's just so much fun. I've watched others and I love it. Do how do your kids feel about their mom being on YouTube? My daughter 
she's just waiting for me to get truly recognized. I think she's just waiting for me to start rolling in the bucks or whatever. I don't understand what, why, but I don't do it for money. I would like more of recognition. I believe that we all add to the melting pot of here of YouTube. So, um, I like who I am. I like what I do. So, I mean, she, my daughter Shakira is just waiting. She just waiting to see what happens. She doesn't interfere. She knows that this, my living room is my space or my bedroom or I take any spot in the house and she can't say nothing about it. That's just it. <laughs> How do you choose your topics? My topics literally originated from um, the Metro New newspaper that my coworker made gave to me and she brought a topic to hand because she knows I'm out there as far as I am open to sex discussions and all these weird rancid topics I have no problems with that if it catches my attention it makes me smile make me laugh I'm like oh I'm gonna bring it to light I'm gonna share it with you that's just it that's how I choose it everywhere I find I read everything look at my channel I found the article in, in red book and that was a move red book about the guy who broke his stronger oh yeah would you consider collaborating with others to make videos? Yes, and I have collaborated. I collaborated with Princess Beautify on this, um, recently with the St. Patrick's theme. She took the day look, I took the evening look. And that was my first time doing a makeup collaboration. It was amazing. As a matter of fact, I had an originating look and then I redid it because I didn't like it. It didn't suit my who I was, my personality. But I would love to do a collaboration with other YouTubers. I would love to do makeup swap or gift swaps and just meet you in person and, and sit down and have a chit chat it's just amazing I love meeting with everybody oh would you consider okay no one other than makeup and fashion what do you want what do you like to watch on YouTube <laughs> I like to watch 8J TV, um, Soundly Awake, Sub Daily, I Heart. I mean, I watch Jimmy Fallon. I watch everything. It's not just one thing. It's a little bit of everything, and I love to laugh. I love something that just cracks me the hell up that I'm about to pee on myself. I get such a major headache. I can't. Um, I watched something recently. It was something so stupid that something posted on, on, on cats arguing what Spanish cats arguing why they arguing that girl against guy and it was just so funny I was in tears I love watching everything comedic is so funny I do watch some how to's but I like comedy have you ever uploaded the wrong video no <laughs> I try not to usually my videos happen on one take except for today I was videotaping the um my guilty confessions tag and I did it in three takes I had it the third time around is good uh, but no no nah. <laughs> what do you prefer filming alone or filming with others in the room I actually prefer filming alone I try to film with others watching and it was so hard I don't even think the video got up I never posted it that was because it was too much sound in the background, the planes and everything. But I don't mind filming with others. I have no problems, especially if they're going to be in my video. I love it. Um, you don't have to give names, but are there any YouTubers that just irk you? If so, what about them irks you? Wow. Um, yes, there are some that irk me. I'm quite sure I irk others. But what I do is I don't dislike their video. If I don't like the video or I don't like their personality, I'm just not gonna say nothing. I'm just not. If I truly like the video, even though you get on my last nerves, I'm gonna like it. Um, if I don't really like your video, I don't like nothing about you, I'm not gonna say anything. That's just not me. Um, I was raised, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Okay, what is some general advice you give to some wanting to start a channel? Figure out what you want. You know, I'm not saying you don't, you, you don't have to do beauty and fashion and everything, but figure out what it is and what are you trying to gain from YouTube? What do you truly want? I actually like public speaking and I like talking to everybody, strangers and all. I love it and I love making people laugh. So you have to find what's your niche. Um, 
yes, I've done some beauty um, tutorials and how to's, but that's not my strong point. <laughs> it really isn't. I like doing tags and all that. This is actually fun. Um, just be mindful and you don't have to go out and spend thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars trying so I was checking the time you don't have to go out there and spend all this obscene amount of money just to get started on YouTube no actually no you start off with lighting from the outside you start off with a basic camera a basic point of shoot has these capabilities if you're gonna use your laptop be mindful keep it steady keep it angled up not angled down you don't want it coming up because you look you, you really look big and horrible. My first video looks like that. Um, if you use your um, your camcor uh, camera on your computer, like a Logitech or like I said, the laptop, you want to create a background space, one of those room dividers that are portable. You can put it in the back and decorate it. Like Sexy Farrah just said, you can paint the wall and create your own um, background. There's so many different ways, but know why you want to start a channel basically um i started mine originally because i wanted to do you know i wanted to earn money like nietzsche b and diva slim down and the other ladies but then i realized what do i have to bring to the table i'm not into makeup and beauty like that so what else can i do i have an opinion and that's where my channel came in so have you thought about transitioning from YouTube to your own website? I do have a blogger and I do have a website. It's right now, it's coming soon, but the website is a hyperlink that's gonna be directed to YouTube. Everything is geared towards YouTube. I want everyone to know what my channel is about. I love being informed and I love informing others of everything that I know. Learn each one teach one sharing is caring. I like to learn about every and anything. As you see, I got my falsies on, I got my makeup and all that good stuff. I learn from everybody else. So, but you know, my website, is, it's in structure. Right now, it's in the mist and I have a logo coming out and it's a whole big thing. So yes, I've thought about it. But I prefer to stay on YouTube. What are some opportunities that you have gotten because of YouTube? I guess what I've gotten because learning about makeup, everyone is asking me, how do I do this? How do I do that? I actually work, um, I go to FaceTime in Staten Island at Overspray, New York City Art Cipher. I'm going to post the link below. I started going last November and uh, November of 2013. And I work, I use, I have five models that I do their face. And I recently had a photo shoot. It's not paid, but I will get the copies of the photos to add to my portfolio. I had my first bride um, recently. Also, um, I have a model, you know, two contracts. My model signed the contract for a look that she needed for an event and my bride. Um, it was a gift from somebody else. They wanted her, this family member for me to do their makeup and they reached out to me. So I so appreciate that, really. And the, the photo shoot at Orchard Beach was amazing. So I'm getting opportunities. I have people that are willing to work with me because I am just not this. You see, this is a bold look. I would wear this during the day without a problem. I can go to work this way, but I do have bold looks that I wear to FaceTime and to parties. I am out there like that. I want bold and fashion. I go, eyes are really hard. That's me. That's me. So the opportunities are endless. It's just people look at me. How do you do this? My makeup attracts people. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. I want, the ladies want me to do a how-to in my home. So imagine that. When you first started, how did you get the word out that you were making videos? Did you just upload and hope for the best? Or did you connect with fellow YouTubers? Um, I was told to connect to other YouTubers and to basically stalk them and send them an email and tell them blah, 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 blah. And then I watched the video and they told me not to do that. That was really annoying. And I didn't want to annoy these ladies. These ladies had hundreds, they had thousands of subscribers. Who was I? Who really was I? And um, I'm not your everyday person. I, I can't explain it. I'm not I'm not a fellow beauty guru as like the other people like Nature B, Missy Lynn, Beat Face Honey, Time the Infamous, Queen of Blending, um, Brittany, <clears throat> I also known as I Craze, all these other ladies, Vintage Attacky. Um, I am nothing like them. But I think what excites me is that they add me to their following. They have me 
they're following me they put me on the circles the g the google circles so i just recently got gosh the makeup artist he put me in his circle i was like oh my gosh i got put in his circle i could not believe it a lot of these people have placed me in their circle and i was to me that is better than even subscribing to my channel you put me in your circle of people that means you saw my videos or you saw my comments i've been commenting on your channel whatever the case may be so for me that is recognition on its own how how do you connect with fellow youtubers um connecting with them is commenting on their channels being you can be honest look at if, like I said, if I didn't have nothing nice to say, I don't have nothing nice to say. But I love watching their videos. At first, I was a little apprehensive because it was a little too much to intake. But then after a while, I'm like, I love this. I love the bold looks. I love everything about it. And I embrace that side of me. It, it just is. Look at this. I got makeup on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not even dressed for the occasion. I got makeup on just because. Um, connecting with YouTubers. I met. I met some of the YouTubers on, I met one of them at Sephora. That's how I met her. I, Nina Loves Makeup, I met her at Sephora. And then when I went to IMAX, I met a lot of people, made you look. I met, oh, I met Sexy Eye Candy. She came to New York, had a meet and greet, and I met her. I've, um, I met Queen of Blending. I met Made You Look. I met Rachel Whitehurst. I met, um, oh my gosh, Shawnee Licious, the makeup artist. Um, people on YouTube I saw there. Not everybody that I get to meet. Oh, Nietzsche B and Missy Lynn. Oh my gosh, I'm like so much bigger than them. They're so sweet. They're so little. They're petite. They're petite females. They're beautiful. They look just the same as they did on YouTube. On, on YouTube. There's nothing different about them. So I love that. Um, oh gosh, how do you get the word out? G plus it, share it on your Facebook, share it on your Facebook, share it on your Twitter. If you have a Tumblr, throw it out there. I have a Bella J M U A like page on Facebook, so I throw it over there. I share it out on Google Plus. I tag everybody. I let everybody know what's going on. I stop reaching out to people, but I have people reaching out to me, and I'm like, I'm not a beauty guru, but okay, I'll subscribe. You sub as long as you sub to me, I'll sub back. And that's the way I do it. I have some to people without asking for anything in return just because I like their channel. That is just me. So who am I tagging on this video? I am tagging my fellow YouTubers who are new here. Um, Mari, you know, anybody. Anybody who's been on here for a while, over a year. I've been on YouTube for over a year. So please feel free to go ahead and definitely um, tag yourself to this video. You upload it yourself. Answer these questions. They will be listed below. Rachel Whitehurst, um, um, I watched her video and she got the video from Leanne. So I'm going to post their channels below and you can subscribe to them. Please, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, subscribe, G+, thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what else you want to talk about and what you want to bring to the table. And if you're interested in doing collab, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for being patient and just supporting me on this time. Um, I'm going to answer these questions maybe two years from now and I'll let you know some more. But this is my first YouTube interview tag. So um, with these type of questions, I think I will re-answer them in two years. So not next year, 2015, we'll answer these questions in 2016 as an update. And I will let you know if anything has changed. With that being said, thank you so much. Talk to y'all later. Bye now.